I'm still drinking beer, though. Huh? I'm still drinking beer. Are you? Yeah. The only difference is that's, that beer was Bud Light. This is root A&W beer. root beer. I don't know which is worse for you. They say that's not as bad as drinking the Cokes. I don't, I, it's still dark. To me, it should still be just as bad. But the no caffeine and whatever. Well, how y'all doing? It's Pawpaw again. I got with me my good old friend, David. Say hi, David. Hi, David. Well, today's video, we're, I'm gonna show you how to make some cheap greenhouses to start your seeds in. Now, if a fella really wanted to get cheap, he get him some little shallow cardboard boxes, or get some boxes come down about like that, and then put a garbage, put it in a garbage bag, and and tuck it all around, and then put his dirt in like that. But what we're going to do here is we're going to use one of these oil drip pans. We're going to put our soil in there, plant our seeds, and then put the roof on it. So. Without further ado, if you would be so kind, yes, let us put some, wait a minute, do I want potting soil, potting and sand dipper? We're going to put some dirt in there. And we're only going to put in maybe inch deep, that's it. Well, this is just the starter seeds. One more double handful. Yeah. Right. There we go. I would think so. So, we just got us potting soil in there. Only I hate buying store-bought potting soil. Got rocks and hard pieces of wood in it. I'm gonna show y'all some make your dead gum potting soil thing. So anyway, yard to make it. We gotta set our priorities. And our priorities at at the doing it cheap homestead when it comes to planting seeds it's cherry tomatoes. I love cherry tomatoes. The indeterminate line. So remember now, folks, indeterminate means there's no stopping the vine. If it's determinate, that means it is predetermined how high that tomato plant will get. So this indeterminate is how I had them 12, 14, 15 foot tomato vines a few years ago. Were any of those cherry tomatoes? It was all cherry tomatoes. All those? All tomatoes? of them was cherry tomatoes. Oh, man. I love them. So, I'm going to let David do the heavy work here. Let him take care of the heavy lifting. Hopefully. Lord of all the seeds. There's several of them. Baby. There's more. Well, wait. No, oh, no, look. Gosh darn. And I bought these seeds at Dollar Tree, four packs for a dollar. And I'll bet you there is I'll bet you there's 80 seeds. Ah, uh, yeah. Easy. 80 tomato seeds. They, what I do is I just Touch the seed, get the stick to my finger like that. Put it in there. Okay. I can handle that. So while David's planting 80 tomato plants, <laughs> no. We'll, we'll take a break. We'll come back in a minute. And uh, once they're all planted, I'll get some water, moisten this down. But we're going to put cling wrap over the top. 
But what's that, what that's going to do is that's going to retain that moisture. I've tried planting them, starting my seeds in egg cartons, all kinds of stuff. But if you don't right on top of it, making sure the water's perfect every day, that gum things dry up on you. And I just didn't have any luck last year. So hopefully this year going to be a different story as we're going to be, have a controlled environment. All right, well, we'll be right back. All right, well, we got all the seeds in the dirt. Now then, we need to water it before we put the roof on the little house. So, I have a, oh, uh, you can't see it, just off camera is a bucket of water. and This is a quart of water. Mayonnaise jar, plastic lid. Make it rain! I wish it was that easy when it got hot. Make it rain! All right. The beauty part about this is that half a quart of water will be all this all this pan needs because it's not going to evaporate out. No. Now, some people say, well, why don't you just soak your soil before you planted your seeds? And that's just because it's so dead gum messy. I didn't want to fool with it. So, well, they don't sense planting the mud if you ain't got to. No. Nah. Did you know mm -hmm. about these little things in the end? I didn't until, I don't know, maybe a year ago. I didn't know for a long time. Dad's the one that showed me. I didn't know that's what, I didn't know they was there, much less what they for. You push them little tabs in the end of the thing and it keeps that roll from coming out. And I said, well, isn't that slicker than snot on a door knob? Put some clips on here. Well, I'll give you a little more. I got plenty over here. And there, my friends. 
is our cherry tomato greenhouse. Ta-da! They stick, they stick, pa stick paper clips. Oh, on the edge. edge? Yeah. Yeah. Help hold it on there. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Well, folks, this has been Papa and David's helpful hint for the day. <laughs> Go out there and get you some seeds started. That gum groceries is getting expensive, ain't they? Mm. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Say goodnight, David. Good night, David. <laughs> See y'all. Yeah. I mean, all for the office, Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? I bet he would have loved it. Yeah, he probably would have took it. He might have picked it up in there, I think.